All right. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Facebook. Uh, we're coming at you live uh, to celebrate the vocal ensemble led by the incomparable Miss Michelle Foreman. Uh, this is going to be an amazing celebration of talent. Uh, as she's already said before to us, past, present, and future. We're like literally launching into the 21st century on the right foot with these young talents. Uh, and uh, a little bit about the organization, Guitars Over Guns, which is the umbrella under which the vocal ensemble performs. Guitars Over Guns is a 501c3 nonprofit that offers students from our most vulnerable communities a powerful combination of music education and mentorship with professional musicians to help them overcome hardship, find their voice, uh, and reach their potential as tomorrow's leaders. Uh, and of course, I'd like to say thanks to our sponsors tonight, Savage Ticket, Cassell & Cassell, the law offices of Brian C. Perlin, FON Advisors, the Dr. Jack Widrich Foundation, and Turner Investment Management. Uh, and before we get started with tonight's festivities, I would like to turn it over to Mr. Chad Bernstein for a moment. Uh, Chad, are you with us? Hey, what's up? Beautiful. How, how's it going? It's going great. I could not be more excited for this showcase, uh, both for Michelle and for the students and the alumni and the community at large. It feels so good to be back and doing these showcases. They've been such a great community builder for us um, and a great way for people to kind of get a window into the soul of the organization through the mentors and through um, you know, the students that have been through the program. And I think the thing that um, is easy to forget because of what has been created through all this is that this entire showcase series started as a mentor fund relief effort. And, um, you know, if you think back to, to when the pandemic started and the quarantine began and the music industry shut down uh, back in March of um, 2020, you know, all of our musicians, all the professional musicians that were working with our students, um, you know, lost all their gigs, lost all their musical income. And despite all the challenges that our musicians have faced, um, you know, they've lost gigs and teaching engagements and, and all kinds of jobs. Um, the one thing that they haven't lost is their resolve and their commitment to our students. And here we are nearing a year um, on this entire pandemic and, and a lot of industries have come crawling back little by little and there's there's light at the end of the tunnel for so many of us, especially with vaccines coming and all that. But for the music industry, um, we have yet to see that light and it's really challenging for so many of us that, that um, you know, I mean, the majority of our professional musicians made a living playing gigs and that's just not happening. Big convenings aren't happening, bands aren't being booked. Um, and so here we are a year later and um, you know, we haven't gotten back to any kind of normalcy or any kind of um, ability to earn for musicians outside of Guitars Over Guns. And so one of the things that um, kind of started this whole thing, we wanna bring back and that's the mentor relief effort. And I think the thing that is um, really important to remember is that throughout all of these challenges, the constant for our students has remained that their mentors have been there for them every step of the way, through every challenge, despite whatever mentor um, has faced, you know, each one of them is, has prioritized their students uh, and taken on um, all of their personal challenges, their professional challenges, uh, and been there for their students every step of the way. And so we are reinstituting the mentor relief effort. We're gonna drop a link. Uh, we wanna get this back going to make sure that our mentors stay whole, um, that they still have an opportunity um, beyond you know, the financial uh, commitment and, and the financial help that we hope that this uh, provides. It's also about providing community, providing that hope, knowing that those of us that are in a position to to donate and make a difference are able to do it uh, because our mentors are the ones that are making a difference in the lives of our kids. And so I just wanna remind everyone that, um, you know, this doesn't happen, Guitars Over Guns does not happen without the heart and soul of this organization, which is always and will always be the mentors of this organization. We need to continue to celebrate them, to prioritize them and to give them what they need so that they can put their students first 
as they always have and as they always will continue to do. Uh, I love you all. Thank you so much. Every mentor in this organization uh, will have a forever place in my heart. Um, and, and this year has, has just solidified that in stone. And uh, I love you all and I appreciate you. And I, I appreciate everyone in the community that's going to make this mentor relief effort that we're going to start on March 1st. Uh, you know, in, in kind of memory of the uh, year anniversary of this, um, it's still a long road ahead and, and we'll get there and we'll get through it if we can all band together. Uh, thank you and enjoy an amazing night. It's going to be wonderful. Thank you so much, Chad. That was beautifully, beautifully put. And uh, I know that myself and all the other mentors definitely felt uh, the love with the Mental Relief Fund the first time and uh, reviving it is definitely a, a, a beautiful, worthy cause. And uh, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be part of that with you. And, and listen, but I, I don't mean to interrupt, but before I cut, uh, before I cut out, I wanna make sure that our mentors and our community know that the individual that has really been the driving force behind these uh, community uh, and, and these mentor showcases uh, is Phil Jacobson. And he has been the silent hero in this series and in many ways, the, uh, the kind of culture and community internally in the organization that's gotten us through this. And uh, just big shout out to Phil. And it was his idea to reinstitute the uh, Mentor Relief Fund and just you know couldn't love the guy more and i know that all of our mentors feel that way and i just want to make sure that he gets the public recognition that he deserves and never asked for thanks chad much appreciated yeah brother amazing thank you so much both chad and phil for really just putting these together on a, on a bi-weekly basis essentially since we started uh and just coming up with amazing content for us to, to, to all view together. And we really, really appreciate your efforts, definitely. Uh, and now without further ado, to introduce the program, we have none other than Guitars Over Guns COO, Mr. John O'Dillion. Thanks so much, Danny. What's up, Facebook world? What's up, Guitars Over Guns family? My name is John O'Dillion. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Guitars Over Guns. And tonight is an incredibly special night. And I can't even tell you how excited I am to be here for the first ever virtual ensemble, virtual performance of the Guitars Over Guns Alumni Vocal Ensemble. To kick things off on the right planet, right place, we need to get everybody on the planet in this live right now. So do me a favor, grab your phone, grab your computer, smash that share button, and make sure that you get all your people here to listen to this incredible music that is about to go down. And before we get in there, we need to understand who it is that we are going to listen to, who it is that's going to make us cry and feel all the feels tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Guitars Over Guns Alumni Vocal Ensemble is a diverse, multi-talented, and collect collective composed of the alumni from all different areas of the Miami region. Founded three years ago back in 2018, this program offers an incredible, incredible platform for advanced students within the Guitars Over Guns family to explore their musicality, their personal artistry, receive additional vocal coaching, performance, guidance, but it's so much more than that. Because this is the vision of the one and only Michelle Foreman, who brings her heart, her soul, and everything that she is as an artist, as a person, as a leader, and as a mentor, and pours it into the bonds that make this ensemble as strong as it is, is what makes this one of the shining examples of what is possible when we in the Guitars Over Guns universe can connect artists who care with youth that have untapped and it's just limitless potential and put them in the same place to see what they can come up with. Tonight is a beautiful example of all of that talent and you are in for a real, real treat. All of this has come out of all of the blood, sweat and tears that Michelle has poured into her time, more than 12 years of it, uh, into the Guitars Over Guns universe. And it is such, such, such a special honor for me to get to introduce this first ever virtual group performance of the Guitars Over Guns Miami Alumni Vocal Ensemble. Mish, are you with me? How you doing? Jono, who it is? <laughs> Mish, I just, how you doing right now? How does it feel to have this night in front of us unfolding in front of our eyes, seeing that live button, seeing that recording button flash, knowing that it's all about to go down to showcase these incredible youth. How are you feeling? I'm, I am fired up. I'm definitely fired up. Um, 
you know, I'd be hiding if I told you I wasn't nervous. <laughs> Uh, you know, but I'm amongst some of uh, the best people I've ever met, and I know that each and every one of them have my back, and uh, I'm just ready to have a good time, and um, thank you for the introduction, by the way. You're very welcome. You know, looking at this gallery, I'm seeing students that have been with us for long, long, long years, students that have been with us for just a couple of years, students that have joined us just this year. What does it mean for you? looking across this gallery and seeing youth that have been with us across this whole span, then that you've been the constant through that whole time. What does that mean for you? It's, uh, I don't even know the term to use, but it is nostalgic. It is promising. It is beautiful. It is, it's just, I don't, uh, I don't have words to describe how I feel, only emotions that might come out of my eyes <laughs> tonight or uh, while I laugh. Um, I think that we're going to go on a journey not only of past, present, future alumni, uh, you know, content, but uh, also emotional. You know, it's going to be emotional. We'll, we'll take you on a journey of uh, all the different reasons why we're so connected. Um, but it feels really good to be here to, to bring it full circle and answer your question. And uh, just it's seeing the different generations, that. you know, uh, past, present and future generation of this of this ensemble is just I'm so proud and excited right now. Uh, that's so all why I don't you tell us why don't you tell us a bit about what we're going to see tonight? I'll pass it over to you to give us give us a, a sneak peek of what we're going to see. OK, well. Tonight, we're going to pull back the curtain a little bit. We're going to take you all on a journey uh, throughout the evolution of the vocal ensemble. Um, we're going to go behind the scenes a little bit, um, maybe show you some past, present. Uh, we can't show you the future yet, but, <laughs> but um, you're going to hear from the future. Um, nevertheless, we'll take you on a journey from for past, present, and future experiences. We're going to show you some program highlights. Uh, we're going to go through some fun facts, um, and we just we have live pre-recorded performances lined up for your listening pleasure. Um, you're going to get to meet some of our amazing ensemble members, including some OGs uh, who actually inspired the creation of this program. Um, whew, that's some, you know. I mean, I have some some who have been with me for 11 years. You know, that's a that's uh, I can barely hold it together having them here with, with us tonight. Um, we have rad co-hosts in the house with us tonight as well. And ultimately, we just want to show you who we are and why we're here and, um, and have, you know, celebrate all the things we've achieved throughout the last three years. And, uh, and speaking of co-hosts, what up, Hayun? <laughs> Thank you for ah, opening the show. Of course. It's so nice to be with you. Thank you for signing on as, as co-host here. Hayun and I have been working together for a very long time. I think that, I think we figured out today, we're like both the longest mentors uh, in, in Guitars Over Guns. So the irony in that, and then, you know, he knows the the uh, the, the, the ute that uh, I work with very closely. Um, I don't even like to call them kids anymore because they're just, you know, they're so grown beyond their years, you know? So to me, I don't, even like to reference them as kids. But anyway, Danny and I have been on a journey together for a long time, and it is an honor to have him in the space with us tonight as our co-host. And I have another co-host who's gonna chime in here and there, uh, Miss Brittany Arroyo. What up, Britt? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to have you with us. How are you doing tonight? Be here. I'm having a great night already. Just hearing you guys talk and just being here. <laughs> so Thank you. you're welcome. <laughs> Brittany and I have spent a lot of time together uh, on the phone and online over the last week or so. So I'm just really happy to have her here too. So I'm pretty much done introducing. I think I'm going to kick it to Hai Yoon real quick. Uh, Unless anybody has any questions, I think we're going to get this show on the road. Hi, Yoon. All right. Well, I mean, I just want to say, first and foremost, I'm really, really honored that you asked me to participate tonight. I mean, uh, a lot of the, the faces that you are going to see and the voices you're going to hear tonight are voices that I had the pleasure of hearing when they were either in the infant stages of their development uh, and whether they have either taken an instrument from me at some point, uh, or you know, classes or whatnot, or just been with with the vocal ensemble, and I just kind of spoke with, 
et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I feel like a very strong bond has been forged with all of the inhabitants of this room tonight. Uh, and I'm just really, really honored and privileged to be able to watch, just to spectate. I'm incredibly excited about it. Uh, excited about sharing hosting duties with Brittany, who's going to be uh, conducting our little fun fact game. And in case uh, the audience is unaware of what's going to be happening, uh, you will hear a distinctive ding sound, after which Brittany will reveal uh, a, a question to which the response will be, I suppose, answered by one of the members of the group as they know it or as they guess it. Uh, it, it it's sure to be entertaining, sure to be revealing. Y'all are definitely going to learn a lot of uh, facts that you did not know about the future stars that we have uh, lined up for you tonight. Um, now, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and kick it to Mish to introduce the vocalists, ladies and gentlemen. I'm over here talking and I'm on mute. It's okay. Eh, these things happen in the virtual space. So anyway, fam, we're about to uh, let the journey begin. We're going to kick this show off with our youngest ensemble member. He's full of light, love, and ambition. Uh, he brings so much to the table. He really does. And he inspires everyone around him, really. And we just love when he opens up our showcases um, because his energy is what every heart needs, if you ask me. Like, it's just every heart in the world needs to feel this young gen. Um, Woo! He has talent. Hey! He has talent for days, and uh, he's not quite an alumni yet, but he's well beyond his years. And uh, he elevates the crew, and we're just lucky to have him on board for so many reasons. Uh, Jeffrey and I started working together a few years ago um, over at North Miami Middle. And uh, one of my favorite memories with Jeffrey is when he uh, showed up his range by singing Queen of the Night Aria by Mozart. I was friggin' blown away. Excuse my, whatever. I was just blown away. I was like, what? This, he, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, Jeffrey, are you out there? Where are you at, Jeffrey? I am here. Hi. Oh, wow. How's it going? Oh, I'm doing all right, perfect. Just forgot that I'm wearing a blue collar. Sure. You are? Let me see, I can't yes. see him. Right there. Okay, there's that blue was color. Right, right. Gotta do what we have to do with, as we always say. So, so today, I, wait, wait, hold on a second. Hold on, I'm not, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm, though. <laughs> um, I want to thank you for opening up our showcase. Um, and now I want to know a little bit about you, okay? So, when did you start singing? When I start singing. All right, this is gonna be a story, but it's not gonna be that long. That's it cool. was when I seen a video on YouTube, someone singing on a bus, like they drumming with, um, what do you call those? Like the thing that you do laundry with, but it's orange from Home Depot. Um, so they're drumming it, some people are singing. The next slide that comes in, we see someone in the mall singing. So I went to the bathroom, looked at myself in the mirror, and wowie, wowie. I started singing, hallelujah. Just like that. But, yes, just like that. We could tell that was around five or six or seven. Can't remind me of when, but five or six or seven was was the time that I started singing. And that's about it. All right. How, so five or six, we're, we're going to go with five or six. Okay. And how old are you now? I am 12, turning 13 next month, the 17th of March. So how does it feel to be the youngest uh, gent in the ensemble? It feels good. A lot of progress had been made. Um, me joining every Saturday, chilling and singing, both of them combined. We're calling it the sing, the singer chilling. <laughs> what? Wait, we need to coin that. What was that? Singer chilling. The singer so, chills. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah awesome. <laughs> so actually speaking of our sessions like what do you hope to achieve in the ensemble more range and more more 
Yeah, more. Just say more. More range, more everything. Yeah, just I'm just gonna say it like that. More everything. I don't even know if that's possible. <laughs> but it is. kudos to you for wanting more. <laughs> um, all right, so what are you gonna perform for us today? I'm gonna be performing Somebody That You Used to Love by Louis Caprio. Alrighty. Ready when you are, boo-boo. Thank you, Jeffrey. Okay, ready. <clears throat> chime in about Jeffrey feel free anyone actually Sarah's uh Sarah's actually we're working together this year 
um, it, uh, she's uh, my community coordinator, so I get to work closely with her. But feel free to speak on Jeffrey's energy or anything you want to say to him. I mean, obviously, we all just heard him sing, and he's amazing. And he's, I mean, he's 12 years old. What? <laughs> I mean, he's going to be 13. He made sure we knew that. But, um, <laughs> but in addition to his singing, he's just a light. Um, and uh, uh, a gift, really. That's what Jeffrey is. So, and I, uh, I think he's fearless. He's somebody to look up to for sure. So we have a lot to learn. We do. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Um, how you feeling, Jeff? That was beautiful. I'm feeling pumped. Yeah, me too, buddy. Can you tell? <laughs> okay. Uh, what up, Hayun? I think it's. Uh, I think I'm gonna kick kick this. Uh, to I you. think I'm gonna. Uh, oh, um, oh, hey, um, hi. How, how's how's it going, everyone? Um, yeah, I, 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 M M Michelle invited me along so I could uh, introduce the uh, the next performer. Um, his name is Daniel. Um, Daniel, are you there? Uh, hello, hello. 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 <laughs> that was delightful. That was great. Um, hi, Daniel. How are you? I'm good. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad. Uh, I've actually been looking forward to meeting you. I've heard great things. Um, so, 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 Daniel, um, how long have you been in Guitars Over Guns? Well, this is going on the fourth year mm -hmm. that I have been with this amazing family. And it's been a roller coaster and it's been a fun ride. I that, that that's amazing. Um, uh, I actually have a quick question for you. I, I I heard that once you performed with a broken leg. Is that true? Um, yes, it is. Um, can you tell it us was, about I can. Um, well, it was a school year where um, it was actually my eighth grade year, and um, I was playing football and I messed up my leg, and even though my leg was messed up, I felt like I had to accomplish something because nobody has ever done it. Um, not while I was doing it, but um, yeah. And it felt good because um, it just felt like I had something to get out, even though I was down at that point. I felt like I was giving others hope and chance and love and kindness and happiness. So, yeah, that's how it felt for me. That's that's absolutely incredible. Um, uh, let me ask you this. How, how do you feel about the ensemble that you're in, like the, the different vocalists you get to work with? OK, let me start with this. Mm. These people. Is one in a million. You can't find them nowhere. And I'm glad to be with them. And it's just amazing how we come from different backgrounds, different stereotypes, different agendas, and how we just connect to each other like glue and just activate this beautiful and vibrant color and image for people to see us in. And it's just so amazing to be with them and to be upon them in their spirit and physically. Mm. And, and Daniel, what, what song are you gonna perform for us tonight and why? I'm gonna be singing, I'm gonna love you and the reason I'm singing this song is because as a person that has been through the things I've been through and just knowing that it's one, it's just that one person that could come in your life and just help you and just make you feel whole again and just makes you feel good, you know, and 
just to have somebody like that in your circle, in your area, to help you and heal you, it's just amazing. And that's why I chose this song, which it is by Megan and um, Jesus, John Legend. <laughs> All right, well, are you ready to get to it? Yes, of course. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel! Ah! <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not come alive, boo boo. I found myself dreaming in silver and gold, like a scene from a movie that every broken heart knows. As we walk in the moonlight, and you pull me close. Slip one second, then you disappear, and then I was all alone. Woke up in tears with you by my side, breath of relief, and I realized no, and I promise tomorrow. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna hold you like I'm saying goodbye. Ever we're standing, I won't take you for granted. Cause I never know where, when we'll run out of time. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. In a blink of an eye, in a whisper of smoke, you could lose everything. Truth is you never know. So I'll kiss you longer, baby. Any chance that I get. I'll make the most of the moments in love with no regret. Let's take our time to say what we want. Use what we got before it's all gone. So and I promise tomorrow. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna hold you. Like I'm saying goodbye. Ever we're standing, I won't take you for granted. Cause I never know when, when we'll run out of time. So I'm gonna love you like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna love you. Like I'm gonna lose you. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna love you. Like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna hold you. Like I'm saying goodbye. Apple was standing. I won't take you for granted. Cause I never know when we will run out of time. So I'm gonna love you. Like I'm gonna lose you. I'm gonna love you. Like I'm gonna lose you. Yeah. 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 Daniel, you crushed it as you always do and honestly man it's been a pleasure and a privilege to see your development i remember the first day you stepped into guitars over guns 
in sixth grade. And man, uh, I, I, I honestly, I, I love you. Uh, I think that you're an incredible human being. Bobby McFerrin, eat your heart out. You know what I'm saying? The range, <laughs> the range on this man is ridiculous. Uh, from subharmonic tones all the way to that angelic falsetto. Amazing, amazing, amazing job. Uh, Thank you. Seriously, I, I'm, I'm really, 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 really impressed. And I'm really glad I got to share this with you tonight. Uh, Thank you so much. And, and remember, uh, we were talking about that... Uh, that game we were going to play, right? Well, <laughs> Daniel, I'm just so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, boo. You sound like the soul coming out of you. Whew, what a soulful young cat you are. <laughs> All right, Britt, I guess it's you. It's your turn, Britt. Take us into our uh, first uh, little segment of uh, the game we're going to be playing throughout the uh, evening. All right. Hello, guys. So I have a few questions for you guys. Um, hopefully, we get a little more information on our talents tonight with these questions. So our first question of the night is, since Daniel Bogan was the first, well, the second performer of ours, we're going to go with what sport did Daniel Bogan play? If anyone has the answer, please raise your hand. And if you have the answer, come off mute. Or, ra well, whatever. Raise your hand. All right, Jeffrey, I think was the first one I saw who ra rose his hand. Can you go ahead and tell me that answer? It was football. Hey. It was, it was indeed football. All right. So, our next question of the night is and anybody can answer this mentor or talents. Uh, how long has Britt and Mish known each other? How long? Go ahead, Danny. <laughs> He's like, guess. Oh, do adults get to guess here? Like, is what? I'm guessing, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess 11 years. <laughs> yes, <laughs> 11 years. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. All right, so for this session, I only have one more question for you guys. We are gonna go oh. with. What instrument does Jono play and teach? Anybody has the answer? <laughs> you don't get to answer, Jono. <laughs> <laughs> Manny has her hand up. Manny, Go what's ahead, that? Manny. <laughs> I guess guitar. Yes, he does. Boom, fact, nailed it. You nailed it, Manny. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is my section for the next. <laughs> oh, there's a few more. You just be on your toes and be ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. right, thank you for playing. We will continue playing throughout the show. Whoops, I muted myself. Eh, again, that happens. So thank you, Britt. Um, we'll see you soon. Uh, all right, so it is time to share a few monumental moments with you guys, beginning with where it all started. I am definitely going to cry. So <laughs> anyways, um, we've accomplished quite a bit over the course of three years. So um, and it's really hard to fit it all into a short window of showcase time. We tried the best we could to fit as much in as we could. Um, and a personal favorite uh, for many of us was back in 2019 when we performed at our annual CYS benefit. Um, for most, it was their first time on a professional stage uh, in front of hundreds of peeps. Um, and the crew rock you on Watsko Center like a bunch of rock stars. I was just elated and so proud of them. Um, proud mama bear, for sure. Uh, there's just, there's too many rad things to highlight. Um, but just to take you through a couple of the things we've done in the past, um, we always met on Saturdays. Now. A lot of us met during the week because they would go to school and we'd, we'd catch up with each other while we were in session. And then I'd take them home. And you know we had a lot of outside of session time together, which really contributed to building the bonds that, that, we've, that, you know, that we've created. Um, we are so incredibly close because of that time we spent together outside of session. You know, it, it was very instrumental in, in the connections that we have. 
Um, but so just a few things. Um, we would rehearse every Saturday for four hours. We would, uh, we performed in like CYS um, 2019. We broke bread together. We uh, had studio, annual studio uh, recordings uh, that we would be called in on to like provide a certain level of harmonies. Um, uh, there's just so many things I can talk about, but rather than talking, actually, I want to call on a couple students to talk about some program, general program highlights before the madness of the world ensued, like before COVID, before, you know, uh, just everything's been going on in present day. So does anybody want to come off mute and talk about a couple of maybe like their favorite, give me a favorite moment. Um, or a performance memory that you'll never forget. You know, uh, talk to me about what stands out for you. Uh, you know, oh, I forgot to mention our time with Danny uh, was always fun. Um, thank you for coming to support us in the studio and elsewhere, Danny. Um, so does anybody want to come off and talk about their experiences? Daniel Bogan. Okay, now everybody remembers this. I remember when we all used to wait for Miss Mish to come in the room and we would literally just burst out, started singing harmonies. And then she'll, and then like once we're done, we'll wait for a couple of seconds and we'll be like, Mish, and then she'll just laugh. And I remember one time we caught her slipping and then she almost spit out water. And that was the funniest thing ever because we have never caught her slipping ever, ever. And I will not forget that moment. Anybody else? Michael, I want to hear from you. What's your yes, favorite man. performance? Hi, Michael. <laughs> uh, Mo excuse me, Moses, my bad. What's up, Moses? Mm -hmm. So any favorite memories or highlights from like, you know, pre-madness days? I mean, does my middle school day count? Like, do, does those count? That's when you, you know, that's when you- Yeah, when I, that's when I came to the program initially. I used to be in the art division and then went to singing with guitar. Mish and Danny were my mentors, you know, pretty cool people. Uh, <laughs> I think my favorite moment was performing for like performing in the first ball and chain, right? That was really nice because it was like my first, I guess, official performance, like outside the school and such. And it was just really nice to get out there and sing and just it was a nice energy, too, because we had everybody there. It was like so raw and, and like th like nothing went wrong to me. Like, <laughs> I, I guess it was perfect at that moment in time. <laughs> So that's my favorite memory. <laughs> You're muted. <laughs> You're muted again. I keep doing that. My goodness. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Does anybody else, uh, Manny, do you have any favorite memories or moments of time? I think it's the time when we like all like did like a whole like music video when we like came together as one big family. It was like really fun. Like we. I made, made new friends. I got to know a lot of people I didn't know before. And that was like one of a memory I will never forget. So, yeah. You know, one of my favorite memories of you is when you picked up that guitar and started playing it. I was like, ooh, you look good with that guitar in your hand, girl. <laughs> uh, you just may or may not see a picture of yourself with the guitar in your hand later. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So, uh, does anybody else have anything to say before we we move forward? Oh, Brittany, what's up, Britt? Um, my I have so many memories. <laughs> I've been here for so long. Oh my gosh! So, I think the greatest memories are always the ones that we all collaborated together, and you know, are just family oriented. It's been that way since I started. Um. It's always been such an honor to work with so many people that are just dedicated, like Michelle and Jono and Chad and Danny. All, all of you guys are just, you know, teaching us and out of just the kindness of your hearts and just to promote this thing called music that we all love so much. And it's been great help to so many people, not only myself, which 
a lot, <laughs> just so much growth. Um, and, you know, every year when I come back and I see like the newer students, it's just like, oh my God, they're where I was 11 years ago. <laughs> like, it's just so crazy. It's amazing and beautiful. And I just love it. Britt, I have so, I have so thank you uh, for being here and being so dedicated. I am going to speak with you later a little in more detail about your experience in Guitars Over Guns, but I appreciate you sharing that, and it is just so wonderful to have you in the space with us tonight. Um, seeing your evolution, like, throughout the years is just... I'm just so proud of you. Okay. Uh, I would like to share, we, excuse me, would like to share a little bit about what we've been doing. So check out a few program highlights uh, before our shift to virtual engagement. Um, here's to blast from the past, the in-betweens, and all things pre-COVID. migrating from my the islands to here I had a lot of trouble like adjusting to the culture so when I was in middle school I used to be bullied a lot uh, in middle school I was a really shy girl I was always raised on the fact that life is hard and it's gonna stay hard so you got to be just as hard but being in Gogo, they really they really opened up my eyes and helped me see that the world isn't as bad reporting in North Miami Arlene Bornstein NBC. I get to work with some pretty amazing kids, and I brought up a few of them with me. They're sitting right here at this table. Woo. Hi, Brittany. Hello, you guys. You represent everything. Thank you for trusting me.
That was amazing. That was deep. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Woo! That was I unbelievable. Was crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. crying. (laughs) (laughs) I remember. This is just onions. I remember being at like 98% of those things and just seeing them being removed a little bit, a little bit of time having passed. You just realize how special it was in the moment. Uh, Thank you so much for capturing it all, Mitch. That's beautiful. I can barely. Thank you. I can. I'm having a hard time holding it together, and um, I just miss you guys so much. I mean, we're together in the virtual space, but I miss my crew so much. And um, that's it. Danny, take it away. I'm, I'm giving you virtual hugs. I'm drowning I'm in my tears. Virtual hugs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, everybody, go, everybody, everybody. Virtual hug on three. One, two, three. Virtual hug. Okay. <laughs> I, um, I know I had something to say, but I can't remember right now. Uh, Danny, go. <laughs> I could I couldn't hear myself think over my shoulder cracking from that virtual hug. Uh, but anyway. Well, I remember what I was gonna say. I wore a brimmed hat so I can cover my eyes when I cry. <laughs> okay, next, go ahead. I I made I made the mistake of not wearing one at all and not growing hair anymore. So, you know, boo on me. Uh, but anyway, uh, moving on to our next performer in, uh, this evening uh, is it, it, it's a, it's a young lady that I've had the pleasure of working with. Uh, she's already mastered the guitar, so now she has moved on to uh, pretending like she needs help with vocals because she is an absolute beast on both. Uh, super proud to know this person as a human being, not just as a, as a musician, as an artist, uh, just a ray of sunshine. I'm not even saying that as uh, facetiously at all. Just the the greatest, most humble, beautiful energy uh, of of pretty much anyone that I have ever come into contact with. Um, this person is, well, y'all will just see. I would like to introduce everyone to Liana. Liana, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> uh, Hello. Hi. Uh, so Liana, tell us a little bit about yourself. How old are you? Uh, which school are you from? And how long have you been in GoGo? Well, I am 14. I turned 14 like uh, the last two months, I guess, in January. And I attend, I now attend North Miami Senior High. So I switched from middle school GoGo to high school GoGo. So, yeah. Awesome. And, and, I, I actually do want to ask, um, what was your favorite experience thus far performing, or your most memorable experience performing? Because you've done a lot of performances uh, throughout the last year or so, year and a half. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say it was when I, I was in middle school, I guess. Like this was before like everything went virtual, um, and I, I did Lost Boy. It was, I guess I could, yeah, it was the first time. I actually did a performance for GoGo that was like in the school, so I guess that was the most memorable memory <laughs> I have. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, I'm i glad to say that not only was I there, I was holding the microphone between your face and the guitar, just doing this, and uh, we have it all on tape, and the fact that you had, I don't even know how many kids were there, like 40, 50 kids easily, in the palm of your hand being as nervous as you were with chase sitting next to you you know helping you out uh having them all be dead silent and when the show was over or when the song was over they erupted like it was their favorite artist at ms like madison square garden or like some big huge venue uh i was so moved and i didn't even know that you could sing because you were like my guitar student at the time uh but i'm super looking forward to what you have to, to to share with us tonight so what is it that you have to share with us tonight well i went with um okay i'm gonna say this i first i didn't even know this song existed i first heard this song from felicia i think that was like the first time i went to the vocal ensemble i think and she sang riptide on the ukulele i think that was also the first time i heard felicia sing and she sang riptide so i'm going to be doing riptide by vance joy Amazing. I am really excited. Uh, I'm not going to speak anymore. Liana, please take it away. Sure. (laughs) I'll take it away and give it back. (laughs) Okay. 
<laughs> All right. Influence this performance? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you did. I, I'd be happy too, to be honest. Uh, I was not lying. Liana delivers every time. Honestly, every single person on this roster delivers every time. Stick around. We've got tons of amazing music. But Liana, I just wanted to say uh, it's really been a pleasure watching you grow. I mean, I know that I've only known you for about a year and a half, two years. Uh, but you know, you, you are very special to me and I'm really, really proud of you and I think that you're an amazing human being. You're an amazing performer. Uh, back at you. As as uh, Jonathan would say, Illy. Uh, yeah. And I am done. I am not going to say any more. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know what, I'm going to do this because... Uh... 
You know what this means? This means we've got another round of fun facts with Brit. Let's go, Brit. What you got? Well, let's see what I have in my bag of tricks. All righty. So this is the next round. We would like to know who was the special guest that came from Chicago to visit us at the studio? Anyone have an answer for me? They can turn their mic on and go ahead and answer. I mean, I know, I was there. Okay, go ahead, you can answer. <laughs> I think it was regional director of Chicago, Mr. Andrew DeMuro. Yes, that is very, very correct. This is a two-part question. What song and instrument did Andrew play when he came? Oh, we got Anyone with the answer can answer. There's only a few people in this room that will know that answer. I was gonna say that's pretty that's pretty deep cut. <laughs> uh, Feli, you were present for that. I don't know the answer, but I know that there's one person in here that definitely knows the answer. It's Andrew. <laughs> it's Andrew DeMuro, yeah. That's what I was about to say. Andrew, feel free to chime in whenever you're comfortable doing so. Um, do we let's just, do it know, now? We didn't decide the rules. Are we going to give the answer if somebody doesn't get it? <laughs> yes. I'm kind of sad. I mean, nobody, Mitch, I'm kind you of can sad. answer. I'm kind I mean, of sad no one remembers. I was being really brave that day. It's not All an right. instrument I normally play. Again, I remember, but I got the first part of the question. <laughs> give, give, give Jono the two for two. Go ahead, Jono. All right, if memory, if memory serves, you sang and you accompanied yourself playing keys. Yes. Oh, Phil, did you hear that? Hold on. Oh, I, I heard it. Well, what song, heard it. Did he what did? song did he sing? Oh. Can I guess? I, I was not there, but can I just throw a shot in the dark? You can try, I guess. I'm, I'm guessing Vienna by Billy Joel. I don't know, Andrew, what song was it? I can't play that, Danny. <laughs> Do you remember that? That's Danny Hyun's and my favorite Billy Joel song. It's a great one. My, my guess is that it's something Beatles, but I'm gonna guess taking a shot in the I'm dark. Gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you that, Phil. <laughs> It's uh, it's by a it's by a beetle after he was a beetle. Yeah, it was imagine. I I know what song it is. I'm not I'm not gonna. Ding 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 ding. Go you know so many songs. <laughs> Call that a hat trick, ladies and gentlemen. Hey now, what, you gotta go get your hat now, <laughs> Britt, Do you have another one? Or are we gonna move forward? Let's move forward. I'll save the rest okay. for the end. Alrighty. So thank you, Britt. Thank you, everybody, for playing. Uh, I am going to introduce my newest recruit. I am so excited to have her with us. She ha she's so brave for for coming on the platform with us today. Uh, it's just she's just so brave for doing so. Um, and so this is a student that uh, Tim and Justine worked with. She's uh, an alumni from Cutler Bay. So. Um, when we met, because Cutler, I'm also community coordinator. So uh, when when I went over to Cutler Bay, we just hit it off immediately. We just connected immediately, and the more I got to know her, the more I wanted her to be with us. So I invited her into the program, and she fit in perfectly. She just fit right in there, and didn't hold back. And we love her, and all the kids received her and welcomed her, and. I just, you know, what's up, Dora? Hi. 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 How you doing, Boo Boo? I am okay. I am nervous. I am feeling all type of things, but I, I am excited to be here, and I'm excited to be part of your alumni group and how everybody welcomed me into the group. I just loved it. I fit in right away. You did. Absolutely. And tell me um, how old you are. I am 15 years old. Okay. 
And when did you join? Okay, well, we, we don't need to talk about that because we just did. But um, what do you hope to experience out of being in the, the ensembles? I don't even know. I just good experiences and learning how to work with my voice and um, like work, yeah, just work on my voice and have like just fun. You will definitely have fun with us. I can assure you of that. <laughs> um, what's your song choice today and why? Um, my song choice today is called We Are, and it is an original that Justine and our group made um, uh, in Cutler Bay, and we all worked on the lyrics, and Mr. Tim made a soundtrack to it. Everybody in here knows who Mr. Tim is, right? So Mr. Tim made a an acoustic guitar track for Dora to sing this song to, and they are working on this song at the site. But um, Dora stepped up and, um, with a little encouragement, uh, decided that this was the song she wanted to sing. And thank you, Sarah Jean, for working with Dora and encouraging her to, to, to do this. Um, and both of her mentors, Mr. Tim and Miss Justine, are so excited that she stepped up to this plate. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce, introduce Miss Dora, a.k.a. Mimi. Take it away, Dora. A.k.a. Mimi. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm bossy like a queen, we do this as a team, just like Martin Luther King. We have a dream, I'm not a precious pearl, I'm more like Supergirl. Like Beyonce, hear our song, we can't do any wrong. We will build our empire. We will keep our sister strong. Take a hand, just like Rosa Parks. We take a stand, we're beautiful and strong. We know where we belong. We pull up a fight, just like Milan. We will build our empire. We will keep our sister strong. Song. What a cute song. So good. What a beautiful song. I just, Dora, you crushed it. And and your energy is amazing. And I love, I love how we'll still see that she's got stars coming out of her face. I love that. It's so cute. Oh, uh, welcome to the ensemble, Dora. And I'm so happy that you love to be her. here. I'm so happy you have the courage to join us. This is her first performance with us. So she's Right on track. <laughs> Big time. I mean, honestly, I, I I heard this song the first time on Monday, and uh, I wasn't ready. I'm not going to lie. I like, I mean, because the lyrics, too, were, like, super deep and mature. Uh, and, you know, like, the, the music's awesome. Your, your voice, you know, carries and just, like, it, it, it just sounds like the message. You know, you sound, like, wholesome and pure and, 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 and good. And I really, really, and it's it's really true. I really enjoyed 
uh, hearing it on sound at, at soundcheck. But you know, as well as you did at soundcheck, you you killed it even further tonight. You 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 managed to top yourself. So uh, uh, mad props. Um, and as as Mish said, Dora is the newest member uh, of the group, and a lot of the videos that we saw, or a lot of the uh, montage that we saw before, dealt with life before COVID. Uh, Dora has not yet managed to see what that was like to actually have the kinship in the same physical space uh, as some of the other mentees. Uh, and with that, I'm going to pass it to Mish uh, to talk about how things are going nowadays. Thank you, Danny. And again, Dora, I'm just so happy to have you with us. Thank you. Um, well, when we shifted to the virtual realm, like we had to adapt really quickly and uh, ended up becoming, discovering how strong and resilient we truly were, you know, as a unit, as an entire family, uh, in our personal lives, in, in every aspect. Um, over the last year, we've gone through a lot of hardships together and we've continued on with our sessions. We've remained connected in different ways. Um, like I've pretty much customized uh, the mentorship. Um, it's individualized um, depending on what the, you know, the crew member uh, is, uh, has the capacity for. And what that looks like is sometimes there's a rehearsal that happens on the phone. Sometimes, you know, phone calls, texts, you know, wait, I have members that are not on the platform today that I am still connected with and we are still working together. It's just they are not hip to the Zoom space, you know. Um, nevertheless, uh, we have had weekly Zoom sessions, um, live virtual showcases, game nights, late nights, <laughs> rehearsals over the telephone, songwriting workshops with Miss Karen Fedler, Fel Feldner, excuse me. If she's watching right now, I want to say hello to her and thank her for being so supportive of this group. Miss Karen Feldner uh, came to visit with us twice to do a master songwriting class. And although the, the song is taking a little while to get off the ground, all the kids really appreciated her energy and it is something we're currently working on. It's in progress. And the way we're doing that is through like collaborative apps like BandLab, you know, or I mean, there's so many apps out there that you can make music on. But so, um, you know, uh, interactive collaborations via like BandLab and um, all the other ones you can think of one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching uh you know and uh we had a cross city collaboration we did with chicago uh that was for me i i think besides the student showcases the tale of two cities was my favorite uh experience um during all this covid nonsense uh and it's just was such a beautiful experience um, collaborating with Chicago. Uh, and uh, you'll see a couple of that featured um, in our next video montage. Um, does any, do I have any ensemble members that want to speak on their experiences in the virtual realm before we share this video? It's crazy, like me joining like during these times and not experiencing what it was and how it is before I'm, I'm learning about all the different things you guys did. I was just like, oh, why couldn't I do this? But, you know, we have to do what we got to do in the times that we are in right now. But like, it's it's funny and crazy. And you have all these new experiences that you wouldn't have had um, physically together. For me, it's like, um, like, for me, it's just like if, if one person's singing, another person's singing at the same time, it's just like all wonky and, and not matching. And it's, it's funny, but it's like, it's not the same that you would get physically. You know what's beautiful? Thank you for sharing, Dora. What's beautiful about it is that we still have found ways to connect and it hasn't interfered with the bonds that we've created throughout the years. And that is what I'm most 
grateful for that you guys continue mm -hmm. to show up and we continue to make the most out of the situation you know uh that being said i would like to take us on the uh, next section of the journey and uh, show you a couple of things we've accomplished um, while in the midst of chaos, hardship, and uncertainty. Check out this highlight reel. <laughs> Try to hit me, but I never slack. Reaching for the title like a ladder match. I light a match for Mrs. Dash and Mr. West. It all falls down, and then they came back wearing MAGA hats. Dead president's pockets feel like a cemetery. Black of the berry is scary. All the blacks that they bury. My father's time, my brother's hood, my mother's land. My family tree was uprooted by. Demanding the release of fellow protesters arrested. The movement for justice shows no signs of slowing down in our community. Three large and peaceful events today, and my more city, likely to come as we Good evening, everyone. Good um, evening, my girl. Woo! My okay. word on um, distance is not important when it comes to a heart-to-heart -heart community. It's sort of like, it don't matter what land we on, what words we speak, but when we come together, it's, it's magical, pretty much. That's what I was trying to say. You said it well. Yeah. You said it well. A community isn't just a place, right? It's something we feel. And uh, and I felt it in the song tonight. Got my finger on the trigger, but your trigger finger's mine. One step until he shot another body on the ground, man. Damn, I feel a blue. Don't forget it's Joe's world. Rest in peace, my brother blue. I wonder what freedom is like. I be keeping my head to the sky.
It's easy. <laughs> All you need is love. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All you need is love. All you need is love, love. Love is all you need. My Emmy is family and we be causing calamity. We are better together. I hope you understand me. We're misunderstood with many misconceptions. So in this rhyme, I just hope you learn. Mish is currently crying. Wow, no, wow, 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 wow. Hey, guys, so no, I'm not. <laughs> oh my god, that was just so beautiful. I'm happy that you enjoyed it. Um, you know, we made the most out of the situation, and a lot of beautiful things happened because of it. Um, all right, so uh, we're going to introduce the next two performers. We have um, another sh another uh, performance coming up right now. So uh, the first performer, uh, actually, it's a duet. We'll just introduce them as a duet. Um, uh, Victoria, who, a.k.a. QV, is not in the space with us this evening, but she had a wonderful performance alongside of uh, Moses at our 2019 CYS um, gala. Um, and I'm going to pass it on to Danny uh, to talk with Michael a little bit right before we show their performance. Um, D Danny uh, had to step away for a minute, so I'm going to I'm going to assume the uh, responsibilities. Um, so so Moses um, Moses has been uh, delighting audiences since he led the Israelites out out of Egypt uh, with his with his rocking. Um, he's he's been an amazing force to be reckoned with. And uh, real quick. Um, we are about two hours and six minutes away from his birthday. So uh, I think everyone should just get off mute for a second and just wish him a happy early birthday, please. Happy early birthday! Happy birthday to you. Hey, Michael. Yes. Uh, I have a question for you. Hmm. Yes. Where did you spend your birthday last year? Or was it the year before? I don't know. Where where did you spend your birthday last year? Uh, you see, you asked me this question, but I forget. <laughs> I'm not, it's funny I how I, like, I know and you don't. Concert you went to? You um, you know what? I want I want you to know, Mr. Chad came in through the clutch. He came through in the clutch with that birthday gift. So if you don't remember, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, listen. It's just the memory. You see, you see these clogs up here. They're kind of rusty, and they're just not going. They're not twisting real well. So uh, you gotta have to remind me a little tiny bit. You know. I mean, I, I think it was the um. Uh, what, what's that guy's name? Uh, Jack. Jack. Um. Oh. Jack what? <laughs> oh yeah, right. Um. Yeah. Uh, the Rack on Tours concert here in Miami or here in Florida. Oof, that was really nice. Thank you. Uh, that was so, your first concert. Yeah, it was my I first I found concert. that out. A little fun fact. That was the his best very concert. first concert. And I got to experience it with him. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Dan uh, Danny, take us away. Uh, uh, so, so, so uh, yeah, Michael, um, uh, I mean, Moses, I'm sorry. Um, uh, I, I was just wanting to know, Um, so so before before we uh, go ahead and, and roll the video, I just wanted to know what, what was uh, the experience like writing the song? Uh, I've written a bunch of songs on banjo before, but I think that your song uh, surpasses mine. So g give us a little window into your artistic vision. Well, Kermit, when you say uh, songs, do you mean all my songs or just a specific one? Um, let's talk about mistakes with uh, with the incomparable Queen V. All right. Well, mistakes was a pretty fast rolling uh, rock ball. I don't know. <laughs> it, it was a. Uh, it was really really interesting because the the melody or the the thing i play on guitar what do you want the thing i play on guitar uh it was based off of another song that i really like exo tour life by lucy vert and like it, it, i think it's more of just like the chord voice not voicings but just something about the, the the way i played the chords initially and then how i played them with mistakes uh and then <laughs> 
she heard that like we were, i think we were in session when i was like playing that just like hey let me just play this right here right now she's like oh i like that one i like that one and she started singing <laughs> victoria was just like i think she i don't even know i don't even think she was freestyling i think she had that written down beforehand because there was no way that she had that ready <laughs> but um but yeah it was it was really it was really nice to hear it come through to fruition like especially like performing it on stage is really nice oh uh, that that's that's amazing um um i i guess the, the best thing to do is just check it out right we should just like uh roll the video and see what this is all about yeah definitely <laughs> Amazing. All right. Well, my, well, Moses, thank you so much for everything you've done so far. And oh, um, Moses uh, has a, a uh, some socials that you can follow him on. Um, uh, some artist pages. We'll, we'll be sure to drop those for you. Hmm. So without further ado, uh, this is Queen V and Moses. Ah! Please welcome to the stage, Michael Dominguez and Victoria Beauville. I made my mistakes. I know I'm not perfect, but I know I'm worth it. I made my mistakes. I know I'm not perfect, but I know I'm worth it. I'm perfectly imperfect. Sometimes I cry, sometimes I'm nervous. No, I right my wrong so I could get it. Sometimes I want. Sometimes I'm desperate, but if you give me one more chance to let me show you who I am, I know that I can have my flaws, but I get back up when I Perfect, but I know I'm worth it. I made my mistakes. I know I'm not perfect, but I know I'm worth it. I made my mistakes. I know I'm not perfect, but I know I'm worth it. I made my mistakes. I know I'm not perfect, but I know I'm worth it. Worth it, worth it. You know, you know, you know, I'm worth it, worth it. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, but if you give me one more chance to let me show you who I am, I know that I can have my flaws. Perfect, but I know I'm worth it. I made my mistakes. I know I'm not perfect, but I know I'm worth it. I made my mistakes. I know I'm not perfect, but I know I'm worth it. I made my mistakes. I know I'm not perfect, but I know I'm worth it. Worth it, worth it. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, I'm worth it, worth it. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, I'm worth it, worth it. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, I'm worth it, 
worth it. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, I'm worth it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and clap for it. such a beautiful performance you guys that was one of my favorites oh my god it so would have been nothing without her too it was so nice <laughs> so good and just the fact that you wrote it together you know and you got to share it at cys of all places that that, that was just a beautiful performance um okay danny you want to intro our next performer Sure. Um, so the, the next performer we got coming to the stage right now is the self-proclaimed favorite of every single mentor she's ever worked with. Uh, it's not untrue necessarily. Uh, she is an amazing human being as well. Super, super smart. A little too smart for her own good sometimes. I mean, I, I, I can't even. I can't even. Uh, this is, ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Feli. Felicia, uh, Feli, are you with us? Of course, of uh, course. Uh, Let me get yeah. my you. <laughs> uh, Feli uh, amazed everyone today by performing a song on piano as well. So like she's a triple threat just instrumentally with guitar, ukulele, and piano now under her belt, and the 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 uh, the pipes are incredible as well. Feli. Uh, I just want to ask you one thing. Um, I heard that some people in the vocal ensemble call you left foot, and I was wondering what <laughs> left foot is. Okay, you see, we have Miss Mish, right? Mm -hmm. Miss Mish is an amazing, great person, but she can't do everything by herself. So she has Kiana, who is her right hand. And I was like, you know what? I want to join into this. I'm your left foot, the complete opposite. And that's that's how I became a foot. Ooh. Uh, well, I hope you got a good podiatrist. <laughs> giggity, giggity. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Be here all week. Uh, so, <laughs> Feli, what, what, are you singing for, what are you singing for us tonight? I'm singing a song that no one knows called Show and Tell by MXM Tune. Okay, well, it's appropriate. Please do show and tell us. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I won't be telling you. I'll be singing to you. I have, but I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Lately, it's been getting hard to find the words. Stuck in my brain, I'm going insane. Can somebody help me? Please. And it feels like I've been spinning round and round again. I just need a break. My heart seems to ache. I'm craving some normalcy. Cause I don't have much to say. And I'm running out of thoughts to bring today. Show and tell is getting more mundane. No life to live or share, and it all feels so unfair. Cause we're floating in the air. Our feet are grounded on the earth, but our thoughts are way out there. And we're having sleepless nights, losing puzzle pieces for ourselves. We need to feel alright. Oh. Harder to try waking up each morning, and I'm gazing outside of my window sill. The world is so wrong. I hope that we're strong, but I am still mourning. Cause I don't have much to say, and I'm running out of thoughts to bring today. Show 
until it's getting more mundane. No life to live or share, and it all feels so unfair. Cause we're floating in the air. Our feet are grounded on the earth, but our thoughts are way out there. And we're having sleepless nights. Losing puzzle pieces for ourselves, we need to feel alright though. That's all. Super nonchalant about just destroying it. Seriously. Uh, that, that was absolutely amazing, Philly. You know, uh, I'm so, so proud of you. I, I know that Mish probably has a lot more to say than I do about that, but uh, seeing, like, watching you grow and develop and just really become uh, the young lady that you are makes me super proud. Seriously. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and hand it to Mish. Is that why I'm your favorite? <laughs> Indeed it is. You, you are my favorite. You heard it here, folks. I'm his favorite. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's not fair. fair. His voice. <laughs> yeah, breaking news, hot off the press. Feli, uh, you know, I, I, Feli and I talk a lot, and I just, I've seen her grow in so many ways. Um, she is definitely one of two Harmony Queens. <laughs> in this group kiana would be the second one they both have such an ear for harmony neither like they barely if ever miss a note i don't even think i heard one note she sang that was off like you know th their natural ability to hear uh, music is just such a beautiful wonderful thing and and it's great to be able to rely on that in an ensemble you know um fella you step up to every single plate and every single opportunity offered and uh i just couldn't be um feel more honored to work with you. So thank you for always stepping up and always showing up. And what kind of left foot would I be if I could? I know. <laughs> and, and that's another thing, like today, I was like getting ready and stuff. And um, uh, one of our ensemble members couldn't find the link uh, and she was right on it. She's sending them the information. So that's kind of just one of the very small roles that she plays where she'll have my back and she'll be on it immediately. Um, all right, so thank you for that beautiful performance that made me think I was outside with the birds and the butterflies. Um, I love you. Thank you for your continued dedication. And we are going to move forward with the next performer. This next performer is an OG, is the OG, the longest standing OG. And uh, I have gone through so much with her. And she's been by my side for 11 years. You are correct, Danny. It's been a little more than that. 
I want to invite uh, Jono and Chad onto the platform to speak with Britt a little bit and get her booster up, get her ready for her performance. Um, but before you do that, I just, um, you know, Brittany, you, we talked a little bit about what you wanted to share uh, in this performance setting. And I know you wanted to like share the first experience singing as a vocal ensemble. In fact, Brittany is one of the four that inspired this vision. Um, and the, the, the funny thing is that f the four that inspired the vision didn't end up being in the vocal ensemble <laughs> like at the end of the day. So anyways, um, but Britt's been here the whole time. And I know you want to share your first experience uh, singing with, with, with Guitars Over Guns and like what, you know, being with Chad in the car on the way to your first gig and, and all of that. So uh yeah talk to us uh there's so many like memories oh my god i i'm pretty sure around that time i was only 15 and you know just growing up in this program was just it was a lifesaver like there were so many things that weren't going my way and it could have been handled differently possibly but this program really, you know, helped me channel into my music and just be so headstrong with it. And just, it showed me that it's something that I want to do for the rest of my life. And it's just, it's this beautiful thing. So the original members of this group were Rachel Gabriel, Venetia Sella, Naldine, I'm not too sure what her last name is, but um, Naldine and then myself. Um, Rachel, Venetia, and I were, we practically grew up together at that point, you know, and we had classes together. We were friends outside of school, outside of the program, and we all had our individual issues, you know, to deal with, but um, we collectively came together, and it was just so nice that after a couple of years to just add Nodine to the mix, she was just so naturally, like, she naturally came into it, and it fit so perfectly, so um, it wasn't my first time exactly, because the first time I would say that I performed an acapella song for Gogo -Go was Rise with Santa Maria Rocho, who's also the lead of um, Mystic, lead singer. Um, so this performance in particular was at the Jewish uh, temple, I believe. Um, in the first video, there was a clip of us singing together on um, the song with Someone Like You by Adele. Um, and in the car, <laughs> Chad picked us all up and we got in the car and he was like, did you guys rehearse? And I was like, uh, we did something. <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't call it rehearsing. <laughs> we pretty much like sang all the songs and tried to figure out where we were going to put ourselves. But we didn't, you know, rehearse how we probably should have. <laughs> so he was like, listen, we got like an hour in this car, so <laughs> we need to get this together. So you know, we started singing the song and he's like, your voice just would sit perfectly in this position here. So I ended up taking the lead melody and then Rachel, Venetia and Nadine ended up doing the harmonies and it fits so perfectly. There was just something that was so cohesive about it. And it was just, it was this just utter beauty that just came out. And mind you, we had never physically sang the whole song together in person together or you know, at any point. So the second we just put it together, it clicked so naturally and it was so beautiful. And that happened for most of the songs that day. And every day since with every one of the people in this group, any one of the people that have performed tonight, it has happened like that. We're all a family and it's so simple and so natural for everybody to just come together and click so naturally. Whether they don't get it at, you know, the first instance, you know, as time goes on, it's just natural and uh, it's just utterly beautiful. Yeah. There's nothing else I can say about that. It's just, and Mish is one of the biggest reasons why we all ended up, you know, meshing so well, because she was just like, listen, you guys are just like perfect together. Um, I want to chime in on something. Uh, when you talked about you didn't have, you didn't rehearse a lot, it was because it was a last minute gig. And yeah. <laughs> pulled into it at the last minute. So we weren't really given much time to rehearse. 
Yeah. Just want to make that make that note. Yeah, there. No, Maybe we didn't not, have any time no, to rehearse. No, no, no. Rehearsal time was in Chad's car. That's the only yes. time you had to rehearse. For sure, for sure. And that's, Hi, that's, Chad. that's actually the best thing, you know, we on the spot got in the car and we're just like, listen, we got this time right here. Let's get it together. And that happens more than anybody thinks. <laughs> so, Listen, let me tell you all something. <laughs> Life doesn't give you time to rehearse. Not at all. Got to be prepared. And the whole thing about music and life is that there's never going to be a stage that you walk into that you feel fully prepared for. And I think the beauty of this group is that while you may not have rehearsed every note of that song, you had spent years building the trust that allowed you to have the confidence to step onto it. And, and that's the thing that will change how you feel about taking those opportunities in life forever. And you all have done that. You know that you can. And now that you believe in yourselves, you, you have no problem stepping onto that stage. And Brittany, I've watched you grow up in this organization and deal with all, all the challenges and all the demons and all the things that stood in your way that you would never allow to define you because you kept taking those steps forward. And, you know, we look back on them as these giant leaps towards you becoming the mature woman that you've become. But at the time they were, they were baby steps, you know, one at a time that, that led up to where you are today. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's the constant battle of persistence that allowed you to get to where you're at. So I don't want to keep anything from the music that we're all here to, to hear tonight, but I'm proud of you and I'm proud of every one of the incredible vocalists that built this program that Michelle responded to and that is the reason that we're here tonight. So I just want to celebrate each of you for that. Thank you. Well said, Chad. Um, you know, Brittany, I'm thinking about every single one of those memories that you've referenced, that Chad's referenced. I'm thinking about the time that uh, you stayed after school so I could record you for your audition for the UM Young Musicians, uh, Frost Young Musicians Camp. And we did that like 19 times. Uh, I'm thinking about, you know, us, um, us being there with you through your first job, through your high school graduation. Um, and now, I'm thinking about how, you know, what it means for us to have watched you grow in all those ways. And what I'm wondering about before we just jump, get to the next, uh, the next tune is what is it like for you now as an OG in this organization and seeing all these, all these, uh, new young, this new young talent come up and, and kind of find their roots within this vocal ensemble family. What's that like for you to watch? It means absolutely everything to me, you know, um, like everybody's mentioned, you know, I've overcome so much and opportunities weren't easily given, you know, you had to work hard for them. And that's such a beautiful thing. And seeing all these young people come through the program and work their butts off to get where they're at is just so beautiful. It's just like, some people come in with stage fright, some people, you know, maybe they don't speak the best English, you know, and they'll work so hard to get it under control, or to the best of their ability, you know, to be the best person they can be and the best performer they can be. And honestly, the biggest thing about that is, if you don't at first receive the opportunities, they will come, you just keep working, keep going. And that's the best that I can give to any mentee that comes to this program because it does work. This program does work. It's the most amazing thing I've ever been in in my life. <laughs> Red, what are you gonna be performing for us today? I think it's time to hear you. <laughs> so this song is like one of the oldest songs that I've ever performed, I think. I performed it both in Go-Go and in my high school choir. Um, it's Rise Up by Andre Day. Um, there's something just about her voice that just speaks to me and just the message behind this song and how much this year, how crazy this year has been, you know, we all just need to rise up and, you know, we'll overcome it. It's, it's one step in the rest of our lives at this point. And, you know, we just have to, we have to get through it. That's all. 
I like your attitude. <laughs> and this song is actually really special to a lot of, of, of vocalists that I've worked with throughout the years. Like I sang it with Ashley at G Jams, uh, Ashley Perez. Um, she, you know, we sat on the edge of the stage and sang it together. And uh, I've sung it with a variety of of the uh, vocalists that I've worked with. So I'm so excited that you chose chose this song and you agreed to play it on piano. So I look forward to hearing you and uh, show us what you got, Lulu. All right, thank you. Today I'll rise up 
In spite of the earth, I rise a thousand times again. And I rise up, I like the waves, I rise up. In spite of the earth, I rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again. that brings back like uh, it's just so nostalgic to me to hear you sing that <laughs> beautiful you know you were hitting those high notes so perfect I, the frequency like effortlessly best, you know it was like it, the frequency was fighting against how high you were going it was beautiful what were you gonna say Jono? I said it, you were doing it effort, effortlessly number one and on keys number two on keys and on key and on like a level of effortless of effortlessness that we have never seen like the maturity is just exponential in your growth Britt. and it's insane uh, like you just casually accompanied yourself when a couple of years ago it was like let's work on singing you know with proper intonation and now it's just like oh let me just sing a really challenging song and play it on piano also and bring back all these memories and just trigger all these things for all the people that i know and love in guitars over guns that was incredible thank you guys it means so much thank you thank you Britt. unreal <sighs> okay so we just have a little bit more to share with you um but before we do that uh, we have one final performer, uh, but before we do that, I have a student who, um, so one of the things about our program, it's not just about using our voices to speak our minds, okay, and our truth. It's about being able to, to not, it, I'm sorry, it, it's not only about using our voices to sing, it's about using our voices to speak our mind and our truth, no matter what that may be. And that is one of the, the, the main foundations of why we're so connected. And I think that, um, you know, connecting in this manner holds so much value, whether you put it into a song or not. And it's the very reason why we're so close. And, and you know, I know we're a music-based org. Uh, but, you know, the program has evolved into so much more than that, um, than just learning how to sing together. And besides implementing, like, acoustic instruments and whatnot, uh, and, you know, I, I mean, how do any of you, my fellow musicians and colleagues, feel when you're on a stage with other musicians uh, that you may not know versus playing with those you do know? You know, um, I think connecting with one another in real life sets the stage for a special kind of magic that happens when we're on the stage and um, performing with others. So learning how to connect with one another off the stage to me is just as important as connecting on stage. So I just want my crew to learn this. And so through through uh, this approach, um, you know, we've talked about all kinds of things. So Manny uh, had a question for some of her fellow ensemble members. And I want to engage Manny real quick. And Manny, um, when we talked uh, recently in a group setting, you had a really important question to ask uh, your uh, your crew members. So I want you to choose a person on the platform to engage right now and ask them the question that we had that you that you want to know. I really have to choose though, because it's like a hard it's hard to choose. 
uh, let me just go with the first person I see, and that's Daniel. So what is something else you are passionate about besides music? Well, um, another thing that I'm very passionate about from singing is um, just writing. Yeah, I will say writing because it's so many words you can use and so many terms you can use in different ways and just get your point across and just be yourself while you're doing it. So if it's, if it's anything, it'll be writing. Hey, Manny, want you someone else? It could be an adult. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay. I, I'm I know it's something another, you care about, so. I'm gonna ask another question. What is something that inspires you to, let's see, uh, Sarah, Miss Sarah? Um, I'm just gonna speak in the moment here, but you all are inspiring me. So, I mean, you, you guys don't understand what, what we get out of it as the adults in the room. I mean, you think that we're, you know, I, I don't know. We just learn so much from, from you all on a daily basis and we're inspired by you all the time. So yeah, um, <laughs> if you're gonna ask me what inspires me, um, everything that's happening right now is the answer. <laughs> me too. <laughs> For sure. Thank you both so much. Um, okay, speaking of inspirations, uh, this last performer is, thank you, Manny, I appreciate you. Um, our, this last performer is part of uh, the inspiration behind this program. And I would like to uh, invite her to come onto the platform. My surprise guest, would you please make yourself known? Hi. <laughs> Come Nelly. on, mute. Give her a nice hello. Look at these faces. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ever since yesterday, I've been trying to figure out who the surprise guest Whoa. was. You did not. I did, Boo Boo, and I knew you were going to react that way. <laughs> I just saw her last week, too, in school. <laughs> wow. So she, she did a good job keeping it a secret. I mean, we just talked recently, so, you know, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> What's up, Daniel? How do you feel right now? I have a picture of you, Neldine, and uh, Leon, um, uh, Leonisa that I found recently. <laughs> I am lost for words right now. Oh, my gosh. It's been so long. It's been You're so long. Right now. Just wait. Yeah. Just wait. Yeah. Um, Welcome, Neldine. Thank you for joining us tonight. What's up? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, I'm really happy to be here and seeing all of you guys and hearing all of you guys. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't, I mean, when I, when we talked and you said that you would, you would join us, I nearly had a connection. <laughs> I was so excited. Um, I mean, cause you know, you represent the beginning of it all. Uh, pretty much and and just to have you with us tonight is so very special for me and I'm sure obviously others on the platform so tell us what you'll be singing tonight and why all right so tonight I'll be singing a little mashup and this mashup actually happened back then when you know I used to be at, um in go at the middle school so it was one day I remember coming from rehearsal I believe it was Miss Michelle it was Venetia, Rachel, and Brittany. And we were just walking outside and we just started singing. And all of a sudden this tune came into place and it was like, hold on, we just created this in like two minutes and it was beautiful. And so we found other songs, we matched it up together, actually flowed and it was like, whoa, cool. And we actually um, performed this for, well not performed this, we recorded this um, at an actual studio and it was, this was a really cool experience. And so I'm just going to, I'd be singing, oh my goodness, I can't even speak. That's how crazy it is. But I'll be singing this song because it just reminds me of this awesomeness that I was able to be part of, you know, the experience and love that I was able to share back then, which I still do now, of course. Still part of the family. So yeah, 
that is why I choose this. And I hope you all enjoy it. Much love to you, Mom. Thank you again for being here. Of course. If I had a song, I'd sing it in the morning. I'd sing it in the evening all over this land. I'd sing about love. I'd sing about freedom to all my brothers and sisters. Oh, all over this land. I was born by the river in a little tent and oh, just like a river I've been running ever since. It's been a long, long time running. But I know change gon' come. Oh, yes, it will. It's been too hard living. Oh, but I'm afraid to die. Because I don't know what's up there. Oh, beyond the skies, it's been a long, long, long time coming. But I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. Mm -hmm. Birds flying high. You know how I feel. Down, 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 down. Sun in the sky. You know how I feel. Oh, freedom is mine. Yeah. You know how I feel. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. For me, and I'm feeling mercy. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. All right, I can't even cut out spirit. Oh, I have me. to redo everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh listen that's melting. you totally surprised first of all beautiful oh god you know you're so talented I, I you just i'm always amazed at how talented you are and how many things you bring to the table um this song that she sang she just surprised me i'm a little taken back she surprised me and added an, a, a song to the mashup so this mashup we recorded with uh, young musicians unite it was myself rachel Brittany, and Neldine, uh, and vava and we went into the studio with young musicians unite and sang this and recorded it and i didn't know she was going to do that she was going to add that to it so Thank you for that surprise. It's so crazy because I'm crying and singing at the same time. <laughs> Takes me back, that huh? So, oh my God. First, I was surprised that you were here. Oh my God. And then uh, that brought back so many memories. Just such a good time, you know? Uh, I loved it. It was so beautiful. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Okay. Wow. You just said it all, boo boo. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for joining us this evening. Thank you, guys. Everybody. I will say, and, and I, I don't mean to prolong this, but Neldine, it is so good to see you. And you were in the back of my car when we uh, had the moment of truth of you guys hadn't rehearsed this all the way through at the temple on the way to that gig. But what I remember even more is all the sacrifices that you made um it wasn't easy for you to come to guitars over guns at the time there were a lot of challenges there were a lot of obstacles there were a lot of 
misunderstandings. There were a lot of things that we had to get through um, for you to be a part of Guitars Over Guns. And you were, you're also an incredible dancer and you were also involved in other activities and sports and all those things. And you made it a priority to exercise your creative voice and have always made that priority and, and your commitment to like this family um, has never been in question through any of it. And I'm just so proud of you. And I'm so, just, so excited to see you back here. And I hope that the love and the reaction from your, uh, your family here tonight is everything that you need to uh, keep taking whatever the next step is for you on that journey. But you got, you, you know, you always have a home here and we love you. I love you guys too. Oh my gosh. You know, Naldine, Naldine uh, was with, in our program. Then she had to go and take care of some, some other stuff. And then she came back. So you're with Miss Jalissa now, aren't you? Yes, I am. What, what a fierce woman to be with. <laughs> She's incredible. I am so happy that she is now uh, your mentor that you work with over there. But, you know, uh, you and I talked the other day about you possibly joining on, uh, you know, here on the alumni ensemble for a project based, uh, anything project based. So, you know, I'm hoping to, to be seeing more of you as well. Um, but I'm really happy that you're with Miss Justine. I mean, I'm sorry, Miss Jalissa, uh, because I, I think you're in wonderful hands. Um, and uh, anyways, thank you so much for being here. Thank you all again. Okay. <laughs> all right, bye guys. All right, bye. Okay, so, um, we are coming to the conclusion of our show. And I am so thankful for all of you being here with us tonight. Um, we're not sure what the future beholds, but we are gonna continue working together, continue connecting, continue making music in whatever capacity we can. And, um, you know, uh, I just wanted to say thank you all for being here. And Danny, if you'd like to take us out, um, feel free to do so. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of speechless after that that string of performances. That was truly incredible. And I'm super thankful to have been here th uh, to, to enjoy all of it. Uh, but of course, none of this would be possible without our wonderful sponsors. So I would like to just shout them out one more time. Uh, we're talking about Savage Ticket. We're talking about Cassell and Cassell. The Law Office of Brian C. Perlin. We're talking about FON Advisors. The Dr. Jack Widridge Foundation, uh, the Turner Investment Manage and Turner Investment Management, and a special thank you uh, to the Namad Family Foundation for generously supporting this program for our alumni. Truly, uh, our deepest thanks to all of you for all all that you do. Uh, you know, it's it, it's impossible. It, ta it takes a village, and and we really do appreciate all of your efforts. Uh, and thank you so much. And I'm going to go ahead and pass it back to Mish for the final word. I just want to let all of you know how much I love you. I see you. I appreciate your continued dedication. You've stepped up on countless occasions. Uh, despite challenging circumstances, I couldn't feel more proud to work with each and every one of you. And um, just thank you all for showing up and for believing in this program. And most importantly, thank you for not giving up on yourselves, even when times are rough. Um, the next video reel, before we come back on to say goodbye, is a little montage and a little tribute to each and every one of you and all the things that we ex have experienced together. And uh, you might catch a featured performance in there as well. So Carly, take us away. Of love to make
it's me kiana most of you know my face but here i am i know it's a surprise it's a shocker but mish asked me to do this and i'm really excited to be asked to be a part of this so basically a cappella group is literally my life literally like my life even though i'm not very participate i'm not really participating now i still love it with all of my heart and it's really taught me a lot how to become a better person how to challenge myself musically mentally and just like all good vibes around with the group and for anybody who's a part of it they know it's not just a group it's also a family and in this group we are not only like members but it's like it's family because we are all family in this group no judgment anywhere when i first started at gogo mish and i weren't the bed like the closest but as time grew over we literally became like this and i'm so glad that she asked me to be a part of the acapella group and i met so many people who i now call my lifelong friends and we've had so many good memories and i will cherish all those memories forever so i'm so glad that she asked me to do this and well yeah so see you around Every time I find a way to speak, I'm gonna stick it flying out the handle. I just wanna put a whole duct tape bro, so I'm verbally handle. Uh, keeping it quiet to knowing and people want knowing that this is a gamble. Uh, if I keep it humble and listen and tumble, I'm holding the flame to a candle. Uh. To make it how you can tell me that I truly fake it. Put it in the back as if I catch it in my face, and I'ma spit it in the air, but then I easy bake it. Damn. And I said what? The only time that I feel free, I'm trying to make a way. Bury my pain under the sea, I won it yesterday. They don't want who I'm trying to be. Call me a phantom. I 
Johnny knew hey and Sammy the last one Let it be real, really a phantom Who's gonna make me feel good? Who's gonna make me a fool? Now Mish is crying. <laughs> You cut it off. So good. There was, there was, there was one more. I thanked all of you and all of the Guitars Over Guns family, and it got cut off. Uh, that was so. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. She went back. Oh my goodness. You guys feel lucky. Back, like all, all, all the way back. back. All the way back. So. You know, it's really hard to. We've gone through so much. I, I'm gonna cry now. We've gone through so much. We've experienced so much. We've sang and done so many things. I mean, whether even even like parents would make me food. I mean, we there were just so many things we've experienced together, and it's really hard to capture it all. And um, you did a pretty good job. I don't. Yeah, know. Really you, did good good, job. you did as good as good a job as anybody could have done. Capturing it. For sure. Ken Burns got nothing on you. <laughs> Facts. Oh God. Um, you know, it's really it's really uh hard to not be able to not only uh, to not be able to see my crew, uh, but to not be able to sing in harmony in person, like it's really difficult in the virtual space to 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 go on with what an ensemble does you need to connect in person and sing in person you know so we're just going to continue on doing the best we can and making the most out of this and continue being as resilient as we can be and as creative uh as we can be with the cards we've been dealt and um i miss you all thank you all for your dedication thank you all um past present and future ensemble members much love to you all and uh, that's all I got. That's all she wrote, folks. Can I make uh, one more uh, statement, I guess? Um, first, well, it's two things, really. Um, first thing, I just want to give a go. Can you hear me? Okay. So I want to show love. To the comment section on Facebook because they've been blowing it up since we started. It's just amazing and it's so beautiful and it's very heartwarming, you know, for you guys to be watching and supporting. And just thank you for that. Um, the other thing is, I want to thank Michelle. You know, she brought us all together and created this this group where we can express ourselves. And you know, I just want to take a moment to thank you. You're like one of my oldest friends and it's just it's amazing to just still have this connection and i'm sure everybody has this um has the same feeling so let's just give michelle a round of applause please can we please just proceed? yeah Mitch. Okay. And now she's and to guys. <laughs> oh wow let me tell Look, no one can tell if I'm crying now. Rick, I love you. You've been with me for 11 years, 11 of the 12 years that I've been in this organization. And that if that is not commitment and dedication, I don't know what is. And I have, I mean, I, I, I can talk about our experiences and your achievements for days and days and days. And, uh, but I don't think we have enough time for that. <laughs> Right now, but I'll, I'll tell you about it when we're on the phone. <laughs> Chad, you look like you want to say something. Yeah, if I could just speak for a second, because Britt's been with you for 11 years, and Mish, you've been with me for 20. And when this organization started, I think you were the first person I asked um, to join me in this work. And to date, you're the longest standing member of this organization outside of myself. And the impact, there, most of your students um, are still with us 
and have been in this organization longer than most of the staff. And if that's not a testament to the impact that you have on these individuals and in this world, I don't know what is because there are most people in my life, in most people's lives that you don't keep in touch with the way that you keep in touch with your students for that long of a period of time in that meaningful of a way, in the kind of way where every time you have a tough spot, you're the person they call. And more importantly, every time you have a victory, you're the one they want to celebrate with. And so I just want to take a moment to let you know and let the world know that this organization and this what Guitars Over Guns is, is tonight. And it is totally the connection that you have with your students, the fact that music will always be the gateway, will always be the vehicle through which we express ourselves and through which we connect, but it is with, without the people, it is nothing. And it's an empty vehicle. And so I just wanna celebrate you for a second in filling that vehicle with all the love and all the connection and all of the importance and all of the freedom that comes with understanding your own potential and having a co-pilot in that vehicle when you reach it. And uh, you are that for each of these students and you've been that for me and this organization and I love you for it. And to all the students that are here, I know you celebrate Miss Mish every day. Uh, you've been awarded for this, you've been recognized for this, but it's the real deal. And uh, you know, there are not a whole lot of people that can go to bed every night with their head on a pillow, knowing that they've made the impact on the world that you have, Mish. So um, love you, congrats, and this is a beautiful night. Thank you. I can't talk right now, but thank you. Uh, this program is m my baby, and seeing this organization, um, you know how much uh, our organization means to me. Um, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now, but thank you, I love you all. I can't do it without the kids, you know, so it's, it's really them. If they didn't show up, I wouldn't have anybody to mentor, you know, so. I thank my kids all the time, as much as I can, for showing up for this. Uh, uh, I shouldn't talk right now. Somebody please throw me a lifeline. <laughs> Help. Uh, as Miss Mish's left foot, yeah. I shall say good night to everyone. We all love you. Thank you, yes. everyone, for coming. Uh, have a nice night. <laughs> Never said, before has a left foot been more articulate. Go ahead, Mish, Mish, it's Kent. I just wanted to thank you for everything you do and for being such a bright light to everyone that's around you.